Stacy Chalemi. Today I'd like to talk to you about my dog Rocco and how CBD saved his life. Two years ago, Rocco was bitten by two ticks during the summertime. Shortly after, I noticed that his, his health started to deteriorate. I noticed that he stopped jumping up on the couch and he wasn't as active. And then he stopped walking up the stairs, which that was something he always did. He always ran up and down the stairs. He loved to do that. He loved to visit everybody in their bedrooms. And then suddenly that all stopped. And then I noticed that when you touched him, he would jump and he would try to snip at you. That was something he never did either. And then not too long after that, I noticed that he started to um, go bow-legged and he looked like he was struggling to keep himself upright to stand. It, every day seemed like a struggle for him. And you could see actually him going into depression. You know, they say that dogs are very much like humans and I could, you know, definitely say, I definitely think so. You know, they go through, they, they get the same type of illnesses that we do. They go through the same things, you know, the same conditions and they have feelings just like we do. And, you know, and they definitely experience depression too. A lot of times you'll see dogs mope around and get sad. In this case, he wasn't as active anymore and that he couldn't jump on things and he couldn't play as much as he wanted to play because it was a struggle for him. And then walking was a struggle for him. And then you notice that he was sitting in his bed most of the time because it was too painful for him to walk around the house. So in his mind, he probably figured why bother? He would only get up when he had to go to the bathroom or when he was hungry. And suddenly that deteriorated too. And he noticed that he didn't really want to eat anymore. And he stopped drinking water. And I had taken him to the vet during this course of this time. And they said that, you know, the, the tick bites had caused Lyme disease. And he also developed arthritis shortly after that. And, you know, he was struggling with, you know, those two things, which caused a lot of pain for him. And I actually uh, had to start to get an IV and I had to IV him water because he just didn't want to drink anymore. And, he, you know, it seemed like he had lost the, the urge of wanting to live anymore. And so, you know, we started to have to inject him every day and hold the, the pipe up with water and give it to him. And he would become very, uh, you know, sad. And, and he, we actually had to put the food on the floor, try to make it easy for him and try to encourage him to eat because he didn't want to eat anymore. And then, you know, suddenly um, I had been looking into CBD. I use CBD. A lot of my friends and family members use CBD. I've done a lot of research on CBD. And I know a lot of people who have, you know, shared a lot of great testimonials about CBD and how well it works. And CBD could do a lot of things. It could help with depression. It could help with sadness. It helps block certain uh, certain neurons in the brain, certain parts of the brain where you, you trigger your brain senses pain because first your body feels pain and then that you don't feel it yet. And the signal goes to the brain and the brain says you're in pain. And then you feel the actual pain but if you use CBD, it blocks it. So you don't, it, it actually blocks the, the, the sensory where you have the pain, but you're not feeling it because it's blocking that sensor, um, that signal that, that shares with the body that you're in pain. So I started giving Rocco CBD. I would put it in his food. And sometimes, you know, he, he didn't want to eat it because he could smell actually the CBD. So then I would wrap it up in a little meat or I would put it in things, yeah, I would mix it in with some chicken, and he, you know, he got distracted with the smell of the chicken, and he started eating the CBD, and I gave it to him every single night. And as I gave it to him every single night, I noticed that he started to become a little bit more physical, and he started walking around more, and he started doing things that he wasn't doing in a while. And then we had uh, brought a new, new puppy into the home, and her name was Bella, and Bella started to, she was very active and she liked to eat and she was drinking and he got encouraged by seeing her do all these things. And the CBD was actually making him feel better. So then he started doing things with her and he became happy again and he got out of his depression. 
and he, he started walking up the stairs a little bit. Uh, not so much. I would say he would, he would make efforts to go up the stairs, but for the first time, he actually jumped on the couch. That was something I didn't see him do in a very long time. And he started to walk around again. And that bow-leggedness, he actually started to, you know, it took a while, but he slowly gained the strength in his legs where he was holding his legs straight up. Not completely straight up. They're still a little bow-legged, but not as much as it was before. Before, he was almost completely on the ground. He could not hold his body up. He was in too much pain. And as we gave him CBD, we noticed, you know, as time went on, it took about, it took, you know, probably like about a couple weeks to notice a tiny bit of change in Rocco. And then it took a couple of months after that, we noticed another, we saw some more changes and he got better and better as time went on. And, you know, at that point when I, you know, when I, before I put him on CBD, I really, he was on his last leg. I, you know, I couldn't bear to put a dog down. I, you know, I had to do that a couple years back and it was the hardest thing I ever had to do. It was my first dog and I just wasn't used to having to deal with this tragedy. Um, and I'm sure nobody could deal with that tragedy. It's, you know, it's like losing a loved one, a part of the family. And uh, I couldn't bear to have to lose Rocco too after I had put, in that, put down Princess. And you know, the CBD just saved his life. It changed him. It gave him, it gave him his life back. And two years later, he's still chugging around the house and he's walking around, his legs are stronger, he's eating, he's drinking. I don't use the IV anymore on him. He actually drinks from a bowl and he, he does his little routine every day and he's been doing great. And if it wasn't for the CBD, I have to say, you know, the CBD changed his whole health. It, it helped him and his you kidneys know, were failing and, you know, some some of his parts of, uh, of his organs were starting to decline. And, you know, he just, when he started using the CBD, his, his whole mentality, his strength, everything just changed. And he, he's been like a whole different person. And I have to say, CBD is a great supplement. And if your dog is in pain, if your dog suffers from depression, even if your dog's hyper, you know, I would suggest looking into CBD. CBD has so many positive benefits and it's natural and it's, it's great. Uh, you know, I have seen wonders by giving it to Rocco. And, you know, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box. I'll be happy to answer them for you. But I just wanted to share this with you because, you know, I was talking to uh, my mother-in-law the other night and she's like, you know, you really should tell people because it was an amazing story what happened to Rocco just, you know, by giving him CBD. And I said, you know, you're right. And, you know, so I just wanted to share with you guys about, you know, CBD and how it could actually maybe help your dog's health and help to improve your dog's life and maybe even save their life because honestly I didn't think Rocco had much more time on this planet and he is you know he is in such good health now you know he's not in perfect health but compared to what he was and what he is today he's doing great and I have to really give CBD all the credit because it just gave him a whole different turnaround so if you have any questions leave them in the comment box I'd love to hear you know uh, what you have to say if you like this video, you know, give it a like, give it a little check and, you know, um, you know, feel free to, you know, subscribe to our channel. We're always, you know, trying to, you know, make videos to help people and, and improve people's health and improve animals health. And, you know, uh, we look forward to, you know, uh, posting this video and hopefully helping you guys. And, you know, and if you uh, have any questions, once again, just leave them in the comment box.